sending out its own brand of space music. But the next hit is no solo. Jupiter has a backup group. They're the Jovian moons circling the giant planet. And now they have their own album. It places at number five in the top 10. And the tune is called Moons Over Jupiter. The lead singer is the moon Ganymede, recorded by the Galileo spacecraft, arriving at Jupiter in late 1995. The sounds that Galileo set back from Jupiter's moon Ganymede, by the way, the largest moon in the solar system, are very intriguing. They sound a little bit like an alien fax. In fact, when I played that sound clip in my office yesterday, people came around the corners to see what was going on if I was receiving some alien transmission. As with Voyager, Galileo's sounds came from ionized gas, or plasma. Atoms in a plasma are split apart into negative electrons and positive atomic nuclei. In other words, charged particles. Two slender antennas on the spacecraft's plasma wave instrument picked up the radio waves that the charged particles produced as they were set in motion by a magnetic field. These sounds that we hear from Ganymede are the evidence that Ganymede actually has a magnetic field. And you cannot find that information without using the plasma wave instrument as we did on Galileo. A very sudden burst of alien sound came from another of Jupiter's moons. It happened when Galileo flew over Io's North Pole. My favorite moon in the solar system is Jupiter's moon Io. It looks a lot like a pizza. This is the most volcanically active moon in the entire solar system, 10 or 100 times more volcanically active than the Earth. It literally spews tons of material into space every second, sulfur and oxygen atoms. These get ionized in Jupiter's magnetic field and actually connect back to Jupiter, to the North and South Poles, making a donut. The donut is called the Io flux tube, and the charged particles carry a monster electric current between Jupiter and its volcanic moon. As Galileo flew through it, the sound ended as abruptly as it started. 